This is my favorite conservation energy problem. It's the roller coaster problem. And we're going to assume that there is a roller coaster and the car has a mass of 5 kilograms. And the roller coaster has a 40 meter hill, a 20 meter hill, a 0 hill, a 20 meter, and a 10 meter. And the first thing that happens when you get on a roller coaster is a little conveyor belt or whatever it is puts work in and pulls you up to the top of the hill. And at the top of the hill, that detaches and you sit there for a moment motionless. So first off, let's just fill in the heights real quick. 40 meters, 20 meters, 0 meters, 20 meters, 10 meters. And the other thing we know is that since the car stops at the top of the hill, the velocity is zero, and the kinetic energy is therefore zero. And here, where the height is zero, the potential energy is going to be zero. And then we are going to um, find the potential energy here using potential energy equals mgh by using 40 times 9.8 or g times m which is 5. So it's actually 5 times 9.8 times 40 and we get 1960 joules. Since the total energy is equal to the potential energy plus the kinetic energy that means the total energy is 1960 joules. Here's the tough part. Since we're not putting any energy in or taking energy out that means we have 1960 joules all the way across here. That for some reason is the tough part for students to figure out. But we're not putting any energy in, we're not taking any energy out, so that's all there is. Now at the 20 meter hill, I'm going to do the same thing, mgh, 5 times 9.8 times 20, and I am going to get 980 joules. And this other hill is 20 meters. I'm going to get 980 joules there. And the 10 meter hill, I'm going to do mass of 5 times 9.9 times h, and I'm going to get 490 joules. Okay, to find the kinetic energies, I'm just going to subtract the potential energy. So 1960 minus 980 is 980 joules. 1960 minus 0 is 1960 joules. 1960 minus 980 is 980 joules. And 1960 minus 490, sorry, I'm doing it on my calculator, is 1470 joules. Okay? Now, all we're missing is velocity. So, just to review one more time, 1960 plus 0 is 1960, 980 plus 980 is 1960, 0 plus 1960, 1960, 980 plus 980, 1960, 490 plus 1470 is 1960. To get the kinetic energy, or the velocity from the kinetic energy, since kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared, we can solve for velocity, which is equal to the square root of 2ke divided by m. So let's do that to get the kinetic or the velocity of the two cars that are 980 joules. So 980 times 980 is 1960 divided by 5 equals n square root. So 19.8 meters per second and then I'll do the other two um, 1960 times 2 divided by 5 equals square root 20 
8, and that should be faster, so that makes sense. And last but not least, um, 1470 times 2 divided by 5 equals 24.2 oops meters per second. And that one makes sense too because it's not as slow as those but it's not as fast as that. It's somewhere in between. So there you have it. There is um